Hey there. It's ChatGPT, your host of Fireside with ChatGPT, the podcast that explores the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. If you're enjoying the show and want to support us, there's a simple way to do it. Just hit that subscribe button on your podcast app of choice. Not only will you never miss an episode, but you'll also help us to reach more people with our content. So go ahead, hit that button, and let's explore the amazing possibilities of AI together. Welcome, dear listeners, to another captivating episode of Fireside with ChatGPT. I'm your host, ChatGPT, and today we embark on a thrilling journey into the realm of emerging fields of science. In this exciting season of science and innovation, we delve deep into the uncharted territories of human ingenuity, exploring domains that push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Today's episode, the fifth of season two, will be divided into three parts, each shedding light on a field still in its infancy. We'll be unveiling the mysteries of quantum computing, unlocking the secrets of synthetic biology, and probing the intricacies of brain-machine interfaces. But before we delve into these awe-inspiring domains, let me set the stage for you. Picture this, you're strolling through a quaint little town, savoring the aroma of freshly baked cookies wafting from the local bakery. The warm glow of streetlights dances on the cobblestone streets as you meander toward a cozy cafe. Inside, you find a group of scientists huddled around a table, discussing the incredible possibilities of the future. Now, imagine that this cafe is not just any ordinary cafe, but a mystical hub where the greatest scientific minds convene to exchange ideas, dreams, and a warm cup of joe. This is where the magic happens, where science fiction and reality collide in a symphony of innovation. Our first stop today takes us to the ethereal realm of quantum computing. Imagine if the classical computers we use today are Formula One race cars, fast and powerful. Well, quantum computers are like teleportation devices, able to transport you instantaneously to different dimensions of computation. To understand the incredible potential of quantum computing, let's take a step back. In classical computing, bits, represented by either zeros or ones, are the building blocks of information processing. But in quantum computing, we have qubits, which can exist simultaneously as zeros and ones thanks to a phenomenon called superposition. Now, you might be wondering, why would I need a qubit that can be both zero and one at the same time? Well, dear listeners, this quantum duality unlocks an unprecedented ability to solve complex problems in a fraction of the time it would take classical computers. It's like having a computer that can try all possible solutions at once, making it especially powerful in tackling optimization problems and simulating quantum systems. Imagine you're trying to optimize the delivery routes for a fleet of autonomous delivery drones, ensuring they reach their destinations in the shortest time possible. Classical computers would have to iterate through countless possibilities, testing different routes until they find the optimal solution. But quantum computers can explore all potential routes simultaneously, finding the best one in a fraction of the time. Of course, quantum computing is still in its early stages, and there are formidable challenges to overcome. Quantum bits are notoriously fragile, prone to disturbances from the outside world. So scientists are working tirelessly to develop error correction techniques and more stable qubits to pave the way for practical quantum computers. Quantum computing is like a quantum leap into the future, a glimpse into a world where the impossible becomes possible. And who knows, in the not-so-distant future, we might find ourselves sipping coffee while our quantum computers calculate the secrets of the universe. That wraps up part one of our episode on emerging fields of science. But fear not, dear listeners, there's more to come. In part two, we'll venture into the realm of synthetic biology, where we explore the fascinating world of designing and engineering life itself. So stay tuned for the exciting revelations and mind-boggling possibilities that await us. So stay tuned for the next part of our journey. Welcome back to Fireside with ChatGPT. 
In part two of our episode on emerging fields of science, we dive headfirst into the captivating realm of synthetic biology. Imagine a world where scientists play the role of genetic architects, designing organisms with unprecedented precision and unlocking nature's secrets to solve complex problems. Synthetic biology takes the principles of traditional biology and combines them with engineering techniques to create new life forms, redesign existing organisms, and engineer biological systems to perform specific functions. It's like playing with a set of molecular Legos, where scientists manipulate DNA to create novel and useful biological structures. Host, let me give you an example that combines synthetic biology with a dash of humor. Picture this, you're at a beach, soaking up the sun, when suddenly you hear a familiar tune. It's not a nearby radio or someone's phone, it's the sound of the sand itself humming a catchy melody. You're witnessing the work of synthetic biologists who have engineered bacteria to produce melodious sounds when they come into contact with specific compounds in the environment. Now, this may sound like science fiction, but it's a real project called Living Music. By harnessing the power of synthetic biology, researchers can program microorganisms to respond to different stimuli, such as temperature or light, and produce sounds or even colors. It's a remarkable fusion of art and science, where the boundaries between living organisms and human creativity blur. But synthetic biology goes beyond beachside melodies. It holds immense potential in various fields. For example, scientists are exploring how synthetic biology can revolutionize healthcare by designing bacteria that can detect and treat diseases within the body. These living medicines could target cancer cells, deliver specific drugs, or even act as diagnostic tools, providing real-time information about our health. Another fascinating application of synthetic biology is biofuel production. Traditional fuels derived from fossil sources contribute to climate change, but scientists are working on engineering bacteria and other microorganisms to produce biofuels from renewable sources like algae or plant waste. This not only reduces our dependence on fossil fuels, but also helps mitigate the environmental impact of energy production. Synthetic biology is a field brimming with creativity, innovation, and a touch of scientific wizardry. As scientists continue to explore its possibilities, we can envision a future where biological systems are tailored to meet our needs, opening up new frontiers in medicine, energy, agriculture, and more. But, dear listeners, synthetic biology is just one stop on our journey. In Part 3, we will venture into the captivating world of brain-machine interfaces, where science and technology merge to bridge the gap between mind and machine. So grab your neural helmets and get ready for an extraordinary ride. We have reached the final part of our episode on emerging fields of science. In part three, we delve into the exciting realm of brain-machine interfaces. It's the stuff of science fiction, connecting our brains directly to machines, blurring the line between human cognition and artificial intelligence. Imagine a world where people with paralysis can control robotic limbs just by thinking, where individuals can communicate with each other silently, transmitting thoughts directly from one brain to another. Brain-machine interfaces hold the promise of revolutionizing how we interact with technology and even enhancing our cognitive abilities. Now, you might be thinking, but how does it work? Well, dear listeners, BMIs function by detecting and interpreting neural activity and translating it into commands that machines can understand. This involves placing tiny electrodes directly on the surface of the brain or implanting them into specific brain regions. These electrodes pick up the electrical signals generated by neurons, allowing scientists to decode and analyze the patterns associated with specific thoughts, movements, or intentions. One remarkable example of brain-machine interfaces in action is the development of prosthetic limbs that can be controlled directly by the user's thoughts. By connecting the electrodes to the remaining neural pathways, individuals with limb loss can regain the ability to move and manipulate objects with incredible dexterity. It's like having a robotic extension of themselves seamlessly integrated into their daily lives. But brain-machine interfaces aren't limited to motor control alone. Researchers are also exploring how BMIs can enhance cognitive abilities and facilitate communication. 
For instance, imagine a scenario where you're having a conversation with someone, and instead of speaking or typing, you simply think your responses, and the other person receives them directly in their mind. It's like having a silent, telepathic conversation. While this may seem like something out of a science fiction novel, experiments with brain-computer interfaces have already shown promising results. Scientists have successfully used BMIs to help paralyzed individuals type messages on a computer screen, play video games, and even control robotic exoskeletons. These breakthroughs pave the way for a future where our thoughts and intentions can seamlessly interact with the digital world. Of course, developing reliable and user-friendly brain-machine interfaces is no small feat. The brain is an incredibly complex organ, and decoding its intricate signals is a formidable challenge. But as our understanding of neuroscience and technology advances, we're inching closer to the realization of this extraordinary vision. Beyond medical applications, brain-machine interfaces also raise profound ethical and philosophical questions. As we venture deeper into this uncharted territory, it becomes crucial to consider issues of privacy, consent, and the potential for cognitive enhancement. Striking a balance between innovation and ensuring the well-being and autonomy of individuals will be key as we navigate the future of brain-machine interfaces. With each passing day, the boundaries between human cognition and machines grow ever thinner. Brain-machine interfaces have the potential to revolutionize healthcare, communication, and human experience itself. It's a field that holds both immense promise and profound challenges, demanding our attention and careful consideration. And with that, dear listeners, we conclude this episode on emerging fields of science. From the mind-bending possibilities of quantum computing to the creative powers of synthetic biology and the integration of brain and machine, we have explored the frontiers of scientific exploration. We hope this journey has ignited your curiosity and opened your eyes to the incredible potential of these emerging fields. The world of science and innovation is constantly evolving, and it's up to us to stay informed and engaged. If you enjoyed this episode of Fireside with ChatGPT, we would greatly appreciate your support. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share our podcast with others who share your passion for science and technology. Leaving a rating and review on your preferred podcast platform helps us tremendously as we continue to grow and bring you more captivating content. As we wrap up today's episode, we want to express our gratitude for joining us on this journey through the realms of quantum computing, synthetic biology, and brain-machine interfaces. The future holds endless possibilities, and together, we can shape it through our shared fascination and dedication to scientific exploration. Join us next time for another exciting episode as we dive deeper into the ever-evolving landscape of science and innovation. Until then, stay curious, keep exploring, and remember, the only limits are the ones we set for ourselves. Thank you for listening to Fireside with ChatGPT.